Hey guys, this is Kevin, aka Kman One, coming at you with the newest episode of Self Sufficient Scape. I've kind of realized in Training Slayer that there's a combat style that's really been lagging behind the others, and that's ranged. I'm only at 59 range compared to 67 attack, 50 strength, and 75 magic, wherever that is. It's it's not a big deal because combat level is determined only by your highest combat style, but it is valuable to have all of your combat styles at a relatively even level, especially for the purposes of training Slayer. So I'm not on an Aberrant Spectre's task currently, but I figured I might as well, while training up my range, go ahead and show you how much money you can make off of Aberrant Spectre's. In hindsight, I probably should have deposited my cash stack, but I have this much right now which I'll go ahead and write down once I end the clip. But I will come back in about an hour, give or take, and see how much profit I've made. Uh, I will be renewing the Slayer contract. Each contract is for 170 Aberrant Spectres. I will be renewing it as soon as I can. I think I'll just go ahead and do two contracts and see how far that gets me time-wise. I don't know exactly how I'm going to be doing it. It's kind of a, it's kind of a free-form thing. But I want to show you the potential profit that comes from medium to higher level slayer monsters. I'll probably do a similar video for gargoyles once I get the slayer level for that. And it'll be a good way to train range, good way to just make money, and to create content, which is what life is all about. Creating meaningless content for the enjoyment of others, even at the cost of your own mental state. Anyways, let's get to it. I'm in the middle of the first contract that I got, and I finally got a really good item that I've been waiting on getting called the Ectoplasmator. And basically what it is, it's like a bone crusher, except instead of bones, it absorbs like ghost spirits. And once you upgrade it with ghostly essence, which I'll show in a minute, it absorbs uh, ashes dropped by like demons and other stuff that drops ashes. It's a really good item. It works in tandem with the uh, Demonheim prayer necklaces, uh, like the split dragon tooth necklace that I planned on getting. Basically, it's a really good overall item, and it's something you should be using in conjunction with any specter-like task. Banshees, aberrant specters, spiritual mages, once you get up to a higher level slayer. It's... <sighs> I'm so glad that I finally have it. I've gone through so many tasks of Banshees and Aberrant Spectres without getting it dropped. I finished up the first contract, so that's a clean 60k gold. I really need a better ranged weapon. I've been using the Rune 2 Hidden Crossbow, which has been the best weapon available to me up until this point. But that took way longer than it had any right to. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna get a new weapon and Hopefully, the next contract will go significantly faster. So I'm here after the second contract. Just in cash drops and alcables, I got about 500k, and I've sold everything except for the Dragonstone, which right now goes for about 10k, 11k. And I'll go ahead and collect it to my inventory, 934k. This took about an hour and a half. If I had gone the whole time with a decent weapon, it probably would have taken about an hour, but less than a mil for an hour and a half of work is beyond bad. I don't know why I thought Aberrant Spectres were so much better. I mean, obviously, if I was using a decent weapon the whole way through, then it would have been a much better gold rate per hour, but as it stands, it's like 600k per hour. Holy cow. For some reason I remember thinking it was amazing, but I guess it was just the fact that when I first made my account and was climbing up through the levels, any amount of money more than like 200k an hour felt like an impossibly large amount of money. Uh, I'm so disappointed in myself in hindsight. Like, this is crap money. Uh. Anyways. It was good ranged XP, I got about three and a half ranged levels, and I do want to continue getting that up, but I think I'm just gonna train up Slayer and get ranged levels as I can get them, because this, as a money-making strategy, was a lot worse than I expected. 
Also, I probably should mention with the Ectoplasmator, if you use Ghostly Essence, I've gotten it through various tasks, Banshees, Aberrant Spectres, maybe one or two other things, I don't remember offhand what drops it uh, that I've bought. But you can use it on the Ectoplasmator, and if you use 100 at one time, then you can create the Attuned Ectoplasmator. The regular Ectoplasmator doesn't work with the Daemonheim necklaces, that restore your prayer, but the Attuned Ectoplasmator does. Also, it grants slightly increased experience. I, I don't know offhand. I'll include a link in the description to the, the wiki page on the Ectoplasmator and Attuned Ectoplasmator. So you'll, you'll know exactly how much uh, you get, but it is not worth using the Attuned Ectoplasmator unless you're getting the prayer restore from it. Lower level players, it might be in your best interest to just sell the Ghostly Essence, but honestly, I'm pretty sure it can hold a maximum of 4,000 charges, so 400 Essence, and chances are you'll be able to rub up on that through Slayer. Most of the time, but not all the time, you end up getting back more Ghostly Essence than you use, but it, it's a luck factor that you kind of have to deal with, and it depends on who you are as a person, and how your luck usually plays out. It's a matter of preference, much like everything in this game. I was doing an agility daily at the Wilderness Course, and I got the agil- what the crap? That's two skilling pets, without a skill over 75. I think that's even luckier than my main. I've got like four or five skilling pets, but I've got like a over 2k skill total. So. Holy cow. What what the crap? What the crap? That's just not how it's supposed to go. Over the course of this account, the Posty Pete uh, event has been going on, and I finally have the 20 daily parcels. I missed two days overall, I think, so far of being able to collect dailies just because I've been so stinking busy with a whole bunch of stuff. But I can finally claim the Lost Property Weighty, which contains some pretty good stuff. The lower level ones have contained similar stuff. There's bags of components, which aren't valuable to me until I unlock invention. There's a large parcel, which contains a ring of large parcel. Elite Cru sorry, Elite Clue Scroll, which I am planning on doing clue scrolls once I stockpile 25 hard clues, but that'll be a little while from now. Uh, protein Packs. Uh, which the best proteans to get are either bars or hides. It's really a matter of preference at the end of the day. Um, I personally have a harder time getting up smithing for cheap. There's a lot of really good, relatively inexpensive crafting options, but pretty much all smithing, if you want decent XP, it costs like a million gold per per experience. Uh, Slayer, VIP, Slayer VIP coupons, which there are these items called Slayer VIP tokens, which let you choose between a Slayer task as the default and a an improved Slayer task, or at least a different Slayer task uh, at Slayer Masters. They're very, very good items. You can normally only get them through a minigame called Cabbage Face Punch Bonanza, which I haven't played yet, which it's got some other rewards. I'll go over it when I get around to, to wanting to utilize it. But now I have 17 Slayer VIP tokens, which is great because now I'll be able to choose so many Slayer assignments. There are these items called Death Touched Darts, which are instant kill auto attack ranged weapons. The best place to use them, and they actually gave another one with the uh, medium box, I think. I don't remember. Um, the best place to use them are bosses like Nex and Calphite King, which, again, I don't really want to do right now. Uh, if they expire at a certain point, then I will probably try to make use of them. But... I, I don't think that there's going to be any big problem with that. I think I can just hold on to them until I finally do start bossing. Aura refreshes let you refresh auras. Again, I don't have any auras because I'm a low-level scrub. 
and then life refreshes reset signs importance of life or death which i don't ever use so they've just kind of been sitting in my bank i can't trade them which is unfortunate but oh well anyways really really good event uh there have been a whole bunch of good events that have started and stopped since i started this account it's pretty insane if i'm being honest but I'm, I'm glad that I managed to get to the end of this event and reap the very, very nice rewards. I'm sorry if this video has been a little bit unfocused, but the reality of it is that I've mentioned that I'm going to need to get back to school and I've just been busy in other ways for the past while. So in addition to the fact that I am uploading this a day later than I'd like to, I think I'm also going to go ahead and announce that I'm gonna reduce the amount of uploads that I do to Tuesday and Friday rather than trying to do three uploads a week just because I'm not able to play enough to make meaningful progress and make videos about that meaningful progress three times a week so it's it's just not practical for me I will still be doing updates as often as I can but I think I'm gonna try and limit myself to two uploads a week uh, unless some big new content update comes out that I can really really showcase easily It's just it's not worth it to me to keep pumping out like oh, yeah, I got one slayer level Like and subscribe It's I I would rather make sure that a 10 to 15 minute video is Content worth watching all 10 to 15 minutes through that's just a personal thing anyways I want to thank you very much for watching and bearing with this series as I finish up the ninth episode. It's It's been fun to get back onto video making. Uh, those of you who have experienced this channel before know that this is not my first foray into online video production, but it's it's been fun to get back onto the grind and as I am getting busier and having to reduce my upload schedule, it's kind of sad, but I am still hopefully going to be able to keep on it as best as I can. Anyway, I've rambled for long enough. Thank you very much for watching, and I guess I'll see you next time.